This is my third video in a series that I'm calling the Lenten Hymnary. The Church has given us an awesome gift in music and text, many, many of these, and so we're going to look at these. Now, the reason we're doing this is that Pope Benedict encouraged us to appreciate a hermeneutics of continuity. What that means is that what we write and use in celebration and in theology should be continuous, uh, should be a organic development from the church that is 2,000 years old that has existed pretty much the same liturgy and doctrine since Jesus rose from the dead. Today we're going to look at the hymn Attende Domine, which translates, there's many translations, but it translates here, Hear us, O Lord, and have mercy. It's a Catholic liturgical chant for the Lenten season. It focuses on repentance and our sorrow for sin. It's called the Lent prose in some churches. They also have an Advent prose. And this hymn is very old. It was composed in the 900s AD by Catholic and Catholic people living under Muslim rule in Spain, in Iberia and specifically in the Andalusia region. The tune, of course, is Gregorian chant, as nearly everything from that period is. Now we're going to hear here a uh, rendition from an Anglican church. It's used in many churches here. Give us a Lord, have mercy upon us, for we have seen So that's one version. Um, unusually, I've decided to have more than one version. And this is a version in Latin that um, is, is it's just like a Gregorian chant. It's simply the melody. little advertising there. So that's, again, just one verse along with the refrain, which is repeated. So this is very responsorial, call and response type of music. Let's look at the lyrics. And th again, this is a different translation from the Parish Book of Chant from the Church Music Association of America. Look down, O Lord, 
and have mercy, for we have sinned against thee. And so, mm -hmm. certainly focuses on the mercy of God and our response to God's gracious gift, which is sinning, as the tradition says, just man sins seven times a day. And so the, the verse here, in number one, turns to Jesus as high king, redeemer of all. Jesus poured out his blood on the cross for us, for our redemption. His primary concern with respect to humanity is our salvation. And when we turn to him in repentance, with a firm purpose of amendment to, to, to change our lives, he will always forgive us. And uh, I've experienced it, many people have experienced it. When, when we confess our sins, it brings tears, it brings sobs. And so we ask Jesus to hear us. And then the other verses, they, they talk to Jesus as right hand of the Father, cornerstone, path of salvation, gate of heaven. He, we ask uh, God, who is, who is majesty, he, he is a king, he is the Lord of all, and yet his primary concern is our salvation and this desire to, to save us, to forgive our sins. Um, we're asking him for forgiveness, but he's very, very willing to do it. And so we ask him to unveil our hidden faults, forgive our sins. And then in the last verse, we see Jesus and his persecution. He's innocent, but he's captured. Let her, he does not resist. He offers himself freely like Isaac did. He, he has no sin himself. He's condemned by false witnesses instead of us. And so that wonderful prayer, Christ, keep those whom thou hast redeemed. Go down, O Lord, and have mercy, for we have sinned against thee. Always remember, he is ever ready to forgive and to give us grace. Let's look at the music here. Uh, you, can, you can see it's in chant mode five, which is not exactly a major key, but it's, it's very upbeat. And you see this, the first li uh, line where you have the refrain, you see an ascending fifth, um, attende do mi so domine, and then it jumps all the way up the octave of the first note of Venetium, at miserere, and then a descending, qui ape. Very unusual in chant to see something like that, where it leaps from, the, from do all the way down to re, lower. And this is a beautiful Roman arch. You see that shape as you go from the uh, attende domine all the way up and then down to the end, back to the tonic. There are musical shapes, uh, similar musical shapes within the verses. And it is just a lovely chant to use in Lent.